our God. Now we're going to the four. All will see how great, how great. Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Dave in here helping you play creatively. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna explore one of my favorite songs. And that song is from Kirk Franklin, My Life, My Love, My All. My past has been erased with just one touch from you. Now, Kirk Franklin wrote uh, an album back in 2001. The album is called Rebirth. And to be honest, it is my favorite album from his. Uh, this album really influenced me. It had so many great songs on it, like Don't Cry, When I Get There, Hosanna, and so many others. And My Life, My Love, My All, when I first heard it, I would say that it was one of the songs that introduced me to the art of like gospel piano playing. It's the first time I remember thinking about what the piano player was doing on the album. And so today we're gonna explore some of the moves from that album. And much credit goes to Mike Robinson, who was the piano player on that album. And certainly he was a blessing to uh, the church and to musicians everywhere. So we're gonna explore my life, my love, my all, and we're gonna explore in this lesson, the chorus, and something he does that I think is a standard gospel move. Let's get right to it. So the chorus, the chords for the chorus goes like this. Um, my past has been erased with just one touch from you. My cloud, my rain, my pain has changed. Your blood has made me new. All right. Now, those are the chords. However, Mike does something that's uh, very standard in gospel. He when he gets to the four chord, he plays this move here. And so this is what it sounds like. Now, I have actually rehearsed myself singing this and playing this a thousand times, and it has never gone right. So we're gonna try one more time, and if it goes right, that's awesome, right? But I want you to understand the concept more importantly. So. My past, my past has been... Let me do that again. See, it already started off wrong. My past has been erased With just one touch from you My cloud, my rain, my pain has changed Your blood has made me new all right, all right. You sort of saw how it was applied to the song. And Mike does it at times, the entire band does it at times. And once I heard it in this song, I noticed gospel musicians were doing it everywhere. Now, this was the first time I heard it. When I first heard it, I wasn't even playing the piano that well. So I, it, it's just what I'm recalling. However, I remember later on down the line just hearing it all over the place. So this is a very common move and I know 
when I first heard it and recognized it, I was like, man, what are these guys doing? I can't tell. And so these are the notes that's going on here. So when he's going to the four chord, it's almost like, this is the way I saw it, was that here we're in the key of D flat. The computer's saying C sharp. And so on the four chord, he's going to this B flat here. Sorry, this, this four chord, it's like he's going to this B flat here and then he's playing the notes from this B flat. So, so, okay. And then the formula for that would be flat two, two, three, flat two, two. So, okay. Now it's very important to remember that formula because that's gonna be very helpful as we try to transpose this into other keys. So remember, it's a move that we're playing on the four chord of the scale. So we're in the key of C sharp, D flat, and the four chord here would be G flat, F sharp, okay? So now let's apply that to another key. If we're in the key of C, C is our one, F is our four, all right? And so then we would play F and then we would repeat that formula. So either you can look at the third of F and make it major, which is what he does, and then you would find your notes that way. So here we have A major in, second, in first inversion. And so we have C sharp and E, or you can think of it without thinking about going to the four, just that formula of flat two, two, three, flat two, two. Okay, so. All right. Now, let's think about another song that we would apply this in. So, another song that we could apply this would be uh, Shout to the Lord. So, let's, let's do Shout to the Lord in A. And the four of A would be D. So whenever we get to, to the four or to D major, we have this opportunity to play this gospel move, all right? So let's go over the move first before we apply it in the key of A. It would be uh, flat two. So we have flat two, two, three, flat two, two, all right? So Okay, now, now that we know what our notes are, let's try playing it on Shout to the Lord. So, uh, mm. all right, so you heard how I added those notes. Now, I changed uh the order of those notes but it still gave it that same effect okay um let's think of another song another song very common would be uh how great is our god so let's see uh now let's do how great in our god in the key of d flat or c sharp same key that kirk is doing my life my love my all in and so we have how great Sing with me, how great is our God. Now we're going to the four. All will see how great, how great is our God. All right. So I hope you see how you can apply this move to other keys, to other areas 
of music, okay? Uh, whether you play CCM, uh, worship music, gospel music, or whatever genre, I think this is a really creative idea that you could apply to your playing. Well, with that being said, thanks so much for watching. If you like content like this, you know what you gotta do. You gotta like and subscribe. Also, if you would like to learn the piano in a step-by-step -step process, uh, feel free to go to play-creatively.com where you could find so many resources that will help you grow in your piano playing journey. So many tools to play creatively. Well, until next time, keep watching, keep learning, and we'll keep growing together. I'll see you next week.